the show is real. He's got our dad's garage. He's my dad. Everybody, this is JD. Um, today's, uh, I guess it's the 10th day, of February 2023, and I have a good friend of mine, Cynthia, who has a uh, awesome horse trailer RV, and I'm standing in it, um, and I am starting to help her uh, really remodel this thing, and just want to kind of see if we make a little video, just kind of show you kind of what we're doing. Um, but this is a 35 foot fifth wheel trailer with a four horse. Uh, in the back and a uh, beautiful trailer, but man, it had a roof leak. Um, I can kind of show you uh, where the water was coming in. It's coming in above the uh, slide out and it came in here. It didn't stay in here long. It went down into the floor and um, <laughs> and rotted out the floors. But you can see kind of what I've done is I have cut out with my reciprocating saw all of the, uh, the rotted out floor and there is um, some styrofoam insulation in that floor too and then I've replaced that underneath that is a solid aluminum uh, floor very solid aluminum floor because the shell of this would also be a livestock trailer um, so it's a very solid floor underneath it so we're just laying this Owens Corning this 250 PSI Owens Corning 2 inch insulation in here and it actually um, matches up really well with the the, the height of the, the floor so when we come back in here with uh, another top uh, layer of finish uh, it should be you know uh, very level the, the people that had it before had done some kind of janky repairs in here uh, the repairs weren't um, they weren't done right but they weren't terrible they weren't they didn't warrant me tearing all that out uh, so I didn't tear all that out and we've got a little bit of work to do uh, in the shower uh, and you can see that's the horse trailer in the back uh, which I'm now using for junk uh, as I'm tearing things out. Uh, but we're going to remodel this. This this had a built-in sofa kind of a thing. It really wasn't a sofa. It was a, uh, a bench that uh, it set like a bench. It, it just wasn't comfortable. So I think Cynthia is going to buy a, a small pull-out uh, uh, sofa to fit in here or maybe even a double uh, reclining uh, set up and then somebody has modified some things here in the kitchen um, before as you can see this edge here was done something kind of done but um, you know everything on the um, on the monitor side uh, all works so I don't want to take all of this stuff out so we're going to figure out a way to extend sorry about the pillows and the cowboy hat uh, this is the sink and then there's just this one this is all of the counter space in the entire kitchen there was no counter space over here, but we're going to figure out a way to maybe take this wall out and extend a butcher block uh, countertop into this space, put a little cooktop, uh, maybe like a two burner um, induction uh, something heater in here, and then uh, a vent hood. And I think we're going to figure out how to do that. Well, the, um, the other thing I've been working on this guy is the slide out was stuck. Um, actually, the motor of the slide out is burnout. Um, and um, this is the access across the other side of it. So the tool to manually do the slide out was in there, but that tool is missing. Um, and so it turns out it's a 3 8 ratchet drive and, and that was pretty easy to do, but the motor was completely locked up. So I had to get under, underneath here um, in the last couple of days and disassemble the, the mechanism uh, to get the motor out. And then, then I was able to take a, uh, impact drill and use it to extend the slide out and so the slide out mechanism works pretty good it uh, needs to be cleaned really bad it needs to be lubricated really bad um, but it's a I mean you can see this a man it's a great trailer um, and it will be really cool Cynthia's gonna bring it down to Bible Grove and bring her horses down she's got these beautiful Arabian horses and they're very well trained and really good around kids so we'll be able to bring them down um, but uh, we're gonna do a little bit more work on it. We're gonna replace the awning over the slide out. Uh, we've got to do some waterproofing along, along the roof up there. That whole uh, seam up there, I believe, is where the water leak is. Water leak should be coming from somewhere just above that, right in that space right in there, I believe is where the water's coming in. 
uh, it's actually above the level of the slide out you can see on the inside so I know it's not coming from the slide out itself I know it's coming from that um, everything else on the trailer seems to work pretty good I got the uh, the 12 volt lighting um, was working I've replaced all of those light bulbs with LED lights just so it'll, it'll be easier to light these without uh, burning up a lot of battery uh, we will test some of the things like the um, hot water heater I have no idea if it works it probably needs to be cleaned up at the very least but we may be replacing the hot water heater and the furnace fired up well I'd say this the furnace fan kicked on uh, I don't know if the furnace fired up yet because as you can see we don't have any propane tanks uh, but pro once she brings her propane tanks and I hook all that up um, I think the propane's been disassembled because they took the refrigerator out and it was a propane burner. Uh, so that would have been an open, you know, leak, a propane leak. Because there is some damage to this trailer. Um, you can see here this piece uh, was put back in on a repair. But uh, at some point somebody pulled forward with this, with this jack down and it folded it up underneath the trailer. And when it did, it damaged <clears throat> here at the entry and it kind of bowed the floor up. Well, there's no all right, well, me and Lily are out here working on the horse trailer together. And I took the motor out for the slide out. And that motor is toast. And the slide out has got some issues. Um, I want to kind of crawl under here and show you how I did that. Okay, welcome under the horse trailer. So uh, the shiny parts are where I've been using vice grips to turn the actuator. That's the bar goes all the way across to the other side where you can put the hand crank on it. And as that comes in, it comes into a uh, little differential. It's inside there for a little worm gear. And that one looks pretty worn. I may replace that. But one concerning thing to me on the slide out are these. Uh, I'm not really sure that they do much, but these um, little slides that go on the inside are cracked. And on that one, there's even a big chunk of it missing, and it was underneath the inside of the slide out. And I wondered if that might have been something that caused it to jam up. Um, I don't know. I got to do some research and figure that piece out. Um, also, I think this mechanism here, not really even sure what that's for, other than I believe that's to get power uh, to an outlet. Um, on the outside wall and if that's the case and that's all that does I'm probably going to delete that and get rid of this whole arm because it seemed like it was bound up and Potentially keeping the slide out from closing all the way. So I'm not sure but we may get rid of that uh, anyway um, That's about it for the slide out. So it, that's the unit there uh, I'll Come back down under here and I'll show you that we have issues with the plumbing um, this elbow will have to be replaced. That's from the gray water tank on down there where the uh, sewer hookup is. The uh, release valve for the black water tank is missing. Um, and the black water tank uh, pipe down there is also cracked and broken. So I'm going to have to replace um, all of, uh, let's see, all of that right there and this elbow here. And it'll have a new uh, release valves and then dump out. I'll get all that new um, and get that uh, fixed up. But other than that, it all looks pretty good. It's got a huge black water tank in it. I wish I had it on that size on my, uh, my RV, but I don't. Uh, anyway, that's where we're at. Okay, that's a pretty good look at the trailer. We're going to be doing several other things though too. There's been a pretty decent infestation of mice and we've got to get that under control and cleaned up. The mice used an area underneath the freshwater tank uh, as their bathroom and have rotted the floor under that out pretty bad. So we're gonna have to replace that flooring and um, take that freshwater tank out. After that, rewire the uh, water pump and all of the levelers for that tank will have to be redone too. The previous owners before Cynthia had done some upgrades or had started some upgrades in the shower and in the bathroom area and those the sinks were uh, never connected and the shower was dis disconnected for some reason in the peach trap below so some of that's going to have to be cleaned back up as well. Uh, Cynthia wants to add a uh, flat screen TV in the area where the bedroom is up front and I'm going to do a swivel mount on that that's the same as the one I used on our camper um, 
and then the uh, slide out mechanism electronics I'm not sure that the uh, that the button actually works and that it goes through a module that uh, that transfers the energy back and forth from uh, sliding in to sliding out I'm not sure that that works so we'll have to do a lot of testing on those things several other things I'm sure that I'm leaving out uh, on this camper that we're going to be addressing uh, but that's basically uh, what we're looking at.